Ladies and gentlemen of the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I'd like to comment on two national legal news stories. One, the Missouri Court of Appeals cut in half the $4 billion plus verdict against Johnson & Johnson over the talk powder ovarian cancer case. It was a six-week trial in St. Louis. This was a significant victory, however, for the plaintiffs, even though the verdict was cut in half. I mean, $2.4 billion, I'm sure there's plenty of money still. Because the Court of Appeals upheld the causation. Causation is one of the most difficult things to prove uh, in a case. And it's probably the difference between winning and losing most cases. It's easy usually to prove and point out some kind of bad conduct, but to connect it to the harm that someone suffers from is a totally different story. And that was the big challenge in that case. And the Missouri Court of Appeals said that based upon the evidence that they reviewed, seeing it in the light most favorable to the plaintiff, that they met that burden. I predict that that case goes up to the Missouri Supreme Court, and that's where the final decision will be made. Most states, including Kentucky and Ohio, just so you know, have an, an automatic appeal to the Court of Appeals, and then you have to request the highest court, the Supreme Court, to take your case, and they may or may not. Another significant uh, issue that, uh, legal issue that I'd like to comment on is the Bill Cosby case. And this is probably, uh, Bill Cosby is dancing in his jail cell this morning. Uh, this is reported from the Associated Press. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania has agreed to review two aspects of the case, including the judge's decision to let prosecutors call the other accusers to testify about long ago encounters, and also whether they should have heard evidence that Cosby had given quaaludes to women in the past. I will tell you that in criminal law, across this country generally, and including in Kentucky and Ohio, past bad acts generally are not allowed in. You have to prove what happened in that particular case. So, you know, I think this is good, good sign. And generally, just like I commented on the a talk powder case, a court of appeals, uh, that's automatic. For a Supreme Court to take a case, generally, if they disagree with it, they'll take it. If they don't disagree with it, they're just going to let it be. I lost, I won three significant cases in my legal career in Kentucky at the Court of Appeals. And all three of them, the Kentucky Supreme Court, took the case and reversed the Court of Appeals. And what I believe were bad decisions. but. It's not a good sign. So, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, this might shock you. I'm predicting Bill Cosby gets a new trial. Can you imagine that? One of the things I'll bring up as it relates to this in the Durrani cases, we have had a judge, Judge Crawford, on the record say that to prove fraud in our cases, we should be allowed to bring every plaintiff into the courtroom where Durrani lied to them and said, your head's going to fall off, you're going to be in a wheelchair, you're going to die if you don't have this surgery, which we think is completely relevant. And Judge Schweiker ruled that no, and we, we suffer from, I mean, it, it's because see, to prove fraud, you have to prove a pattern, you have to prove intent. So it's very relevant. So when this Cosby decision came out at trial court level, we were all shaking our heads going, are you kidding me? The prosecution gets to call all these other women that he did this to in a criminal case, and we don't get to call these people in a fraud civil case? It's insane. It's the bulldog. Every dog has a day. I just wanted to 
give you. Judge Bulldog's comment on those. 